All right, so I accidentally threw away something that I wrote down, and I was it was a saying that I wrote down today. I threw it away. I was like, wait a minute, where did I leave that? I was like, oh wow, I threw it away. So I had to get, I had to go into the trash to get this. And the saying is very important, and it correlates with me. And I'll tell you why. It says, you have to dive in order to survive, and what I mean when I say diving and surviving is you're gonna get you're gonna be afraid and sometimes you're gonna be scared of doing things that you may not know what the result may be, but it all depends on the mindset that you have going into it. Now, if you have a negative mindset going into something new, something uncomfortable, an environment that you really don't know about, most likely if there you're gonna get negative results. But if you go into a mindset with positive results, I mean, uh, if you go into a mindset and something new with positive, with a positive mindset and you have positive vibes, don't get me wrong, you're going to think negative at times. But the thing is, you want to pivot those thoughts into positive, positive thoughts. And we are all human myself included, and you, I sometimes have the days where I'm not motivated, where I'm not inspired, as you say. If if we did things on a daily level based off of motivation, you know, like you go to work, you're not motivated, but you do it anyways, right? So when you don't want to go to the gym or you don't want to better yourself and do things because you're not motivated, that that's just an excuse that is not valid. And I'm going to tell you why it's not valid, because you have to learn how to do things that you aren't motivated to do. You have to learn how to do things that sometimes you don't want to do and you're going to have to do it. Why? Because that's what's going to separate you from the average, the good, and the great. And wherever you want to be on that, whatever caliber you want to put out in your life, that's the result that you're going to get in three months now, six months from now, one year from now. Those are the results that you are going to get. So what results do you want in your life? Seriously, what results do you want in your life? I just left my job of five years, okay? Five years I left my job. And for those still watching this video, um, a lot of people didn't know where I was working at. A lot of people didn't know what I was doing. Um, if, if you do, cool. If you don't, you don't. But I worked at a smoke shop for five years, you know? And I was treated very well, very, very well there. And uh, I love those people that, that, that I was working with, you know, and they treated me amazing. And I didn't leave because I wanted to leave in, in a bad mindset. I, I, you know, I didn't say I hated it here, so I want to leave. I, that, was, that was none of the reasoning. The reasoning behind why I left is because I felt like it was time for me to, to become very uncomfortable, you know, and to go down a path that I didn't. I couldn't see and a path that sometimes you don't know what's going to happen. But those paths that you don't know what's going to happen and you it's very uncomfortable, you are going to have to have a positive mindset and you're going to have to go and endure that journey. Although you may not know what what it holds, but you can plan, okay? And you can meditate and you can visualize yourself in a lot of great situations whatever it's going to be. And that will help you, okay? But when the times get hard and they get rough, remind yourself why you did it and why you're doing it. And you didn't get this far to only get this far. So that's what I have to say. In order to survive, you must dive. And what I'm doing with my life is I'm diving into this new opportunity in order to survive because I want better for myself. I want better for my daughter and I want better for my future family, you know, my current family. I want more for my, the generations to come because the generations that we have been a part of now, you know, a lot of people don't know the great grandparents, the great grandfather, the great grandmother, things like that. You don't know them because there was not much of a legacy left behind. And are you going to leave a legacy behind? And are you going to be talked about among your grandchildren and four, five, six, seven different generations from now? Are you going to get talked about? Like, are they going to say this is the person that changed it all? 
Or are you just going to be another great, great, great that nobody even knows and they might have to look, they might be able to see your Instagram, Facebook, whatever it is, because we have that now. But what what is it that you're standing out? What What is it that you're doing different in your life that's going to separate yourself from all the other generations that have ever lived through your bloodline? Now, are you destined for greatness or are you def destined for average? It's up to you. You define that. And I'm taking the leap into an unknown territory because in order to survive, you must dive.